Hello. Hi. We are in Warsaw and it's very hot summer this year and we are eating ice cream. And we are eating this ice cream because we got Ig Nobel Prize for medicine this year. And we want to tell you a bit what our research is about. And you know there is a bone marrow transplantation procedure in medicine and it's a procedure that has many risks. Uh, you can die because of sepsis, you can die because of inflammation in your lungs. Many bad things can happen and one of them is mucositis. And what is mucositis? Actually mucositis is a damage to mucosa of our mouth which is done by melphalan. Melphalan is chemo, chemotherapeutic that is given to patient because before the autologous hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. And mucositis is complication, is uh, adverse event of melphalan. And to prevent the mucositis that is done by melphalan, we decided to give our patient ice cream. Why ice cream? It is known fact that if you cool mucosa, you can prevent this complication. Some people use ice cubes, but if you think of having an ice cube for two hours in your mouth, it's not very convenient for the patient. So many centers just don't apply this procedure, although we know it works because it's not convenient for the patients. And we had this idea that maybe if you just cool down the mucosa and you use it something simple, something that patient actually may like, like ice cream, you could get the similar effect. And what was the effect of just eating few ice creams before or during the chemotherapy? We have shown in our paper that uh, the incidence of oral mucositis in our patients in the group without ice creams was three times higher than in the population with ice cream. So around in the, in the group with ice cream, the incidence of oral mucositis was about 20%, whereas in the group without ice cream, the incidence of oral mucositis was three times higher, so about 60%. So what these numbers mean when you think about the transplantation? Think about the Europe. There would be probably around 30,000 transplantation in patients with multiple myeloma around 20,000 of these people will get mucositis. If you give them ice cream, you can prevent around 10,000 mucositis per year in the patients in Europe alone. It's a big number when you think of it. Something that you can achieve with very simple means, with ice cream. So, And additionally, you shouldn't forget about treatment of complication, which is oral mucositis. So, for example, our patients are given with morphine, uh, also total parenteral nutrition, just because of, the, uh, because of the oral mucositis. So when you think of that, that by such an easy way, you can prevent oral mucositis in patients, prevent also parenteral nutrition, morphine, it's just like a eureka for us. Yes. So remember, it's not ignoble thing to give ice cream to prevent book of anxiety. It's actually evidence-based medicine. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Lepiej. Ja już wyszło lepiej. Mm -hmm.